Joining right. us now to discuss the situation in the ruling party is Aliyu Alju, who is a member of the APC Stakeholders Forum. Good to have you. You're welcome. Right. So, we, I mean, we're talking, we, we've been following developments within the APC. And not just that, uh, of course, uh, the issues uh, with the National Assembly, where there seems to be some kind of attempt uh, by the executive uh, to impose uh, principal officers on the legislature. This is not going down too well, you know, with some people, especially the national chairman of the party. And some are reading it to mean that there may be cracks within the party. Is it a continuation of the uh, no love lost seemingly, or, you know, between the national chairman of the party and Tinubu himself, the president? Okay, I, I, I really don't think it's about... Um, good evening, Nigerians, and thanks mm -hmm. for having me here. I really don't think it's about um, crack between um, the national chairman and the president of the country, because president heads the executive arm. The, exec the legislative is clearly headed by, you know, um, the president of the, of the Senate, mm -hmm. who is the president of the National Assembly, the chairman of the National Assembly, and um, that is um, Senator Goswell Apabio. And um, the decision of um, the National Assembly is strictly and completely the decision of members of the National Assembly, not that of the executive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with the president. Okay, we understand right. that. We're not saying that it has Anything everything to do, to do with the yeah. president. We understand that whatever happens in the National Assembly is a business of the lawmakers. What we're saying is that to have proper... We cannot have uh, a strong democracy Mm -hmm. without a formidable National Assembly. I agree. Right. Now, what that also means is an independent National Assembly. I agree. We've had all sorts. We're hoping that the 10th National Assembly will be a wide departure from the norm. How exactly do we draw the line between the uh, National Assembly autonomy and the influence of the executive? All right. Um, the law clearly states, um, I mean, the the... the independence of the of the two arms of government mm. but one thing we must understand is um, whether the legislative arm the executive arm or the judiciary there is one aim of the government mm. the security and welfare of the people of nigeria absolutely mm -hmm. and the three arms must agree on that right so let's not assume or think that we expect that the two legislative arm and the Executive arm should be at war at all times. No. I doubt again. Again, we're not saying that. that. Good. No. <laughs> yeah. well, that's not what you're saying. Good. Mm -hmm. What has happened? I mean, if about the national chairman and the and the leadership of the of the national assembly is what right. you are talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I am not surprised. You know, if you remember clearly, with our APC rebirth at the convention in 2022, we made it clearly known before the convention that the current chairman of the party was in our choice. He was brought in to play a script, and they lost. By this, whom? No, but, I don't understand, please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the, the, are you talking about the current chairman? Yes. Abdullahi Adel. Yes. OK, great. We need that to clarify. Yes. Right. I mean, I have said it on a, a number of times. Mm -hmm. You see, it, But it, you it, just said there's, there's no, I mean, there's no cracks within no, you, uh, you, your you, party. You, 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 but you're your, making a your point opening now. State, I, I didn't say there's no crack within the party. Okay. Your opening statement was pitching the, national, the, the Senate, what they call the party chairman, against the president. Not necessarily. Good. So right. I just wanted us to clear that. Mm -hmm. However, on the issue at hand, you know, um, how the National Assembly Caucus decide to allocate the leadership of the National Assembly is the responsibility of the National Assembly members, not of any party. So are you faulting the statement from the national chairman? I doubt if anyone where, is not faulting it. Where he says, look, that list, any talk about that list is a mere uh, rumor. In what capacity? Is he, saying, is he a member of the National Assembly? He's not. If he was, he would have been invited into the house to be part of the decision. He's not. He's a party chairman. Mm -hmm. Okay, speak so to us about, um, back up a little. You just said that uh, uh, the emergence of the current national chairman of your party yes. was not... Um, the choice of the majority, the choice of, of, the the majority of the people. Yes, it was imposed. It was, it was imposed to play a script. By whom? By the same set of people who wanted to run us down as a country, the same set of people who did everything possible to, 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 to make 
my, peop, my party lose the presidential election that they failed. It's just a continuation of their failed attempt. Who and are they these will fail people? Again. I mean, when you say they, uh, you want to clarify that. We don't want you to live with any ambiguities or mm -hmm. vagueness on, or insinuations, you know, yeah, yeah. On, the, on points being made. Who are they, really? The people behind him, mm -hmm. but there is a face. The within, national chairman. The APC? I mean, I don't want to believe that the national chairman is the is the sole person, is the only person who has problem with the leadership of the national assembly. Mm -hmm. If he is the only person, then he is the one. Right. Okay. So let's move away from that just a little. I mean, all kinds of visits to uh, the president. We had uh, Metu, well, former member of the PDP, former spokesman of the opposition party, visiting. Uh, president Tinubu today, and of course, Anyim Payos Anyim, who had run uh, for president on the, on the platform of the hmm. PDP. What exactly is playing out? Yeah, we do, it looks like uh, President Tinubu is, you know, opening up his arms and saying, look, hey, you're all welcome. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, prior to the general election, presidential election especially, we, we, we made it clear that um, we, we, we're bringing in a president for every Nigerian, a president for all Nigerians. You know, President Bola Metinubu is an APC president. He's president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And he's responsible for the welfare and security of every single citizen of this country, mm. irrespective of their party affiliation, ethnic, religion, region. So, I mean, the, 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 the Asovila belongs to every Nigerian. Yeah, that's understandable. But it, how is it in the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians if Nigeria is gradually, seemingly, moving towards a one-party uh, set up a one-party state. How is that good for democracy? He received because uh, it looks like there's a, an attempt. He as some are saying to crumble uh, the PDP. He received. Um, he has received so far visitors from all across the world. Does that mean we are trying to make every other country be part of Nigeria? No. I mean, the detail of their visit does not in any way state that it has anything to do to anything to do with. Um, I mean, party. You understand as we speak currently that we have a president and a vice president and a chief of staff and an SGF who all have been members of the National Assembly in the past. You know, mm -hmm. and, and um, the, the, the former SGF and former Senate president, you know, at some point in the past, their paths would have crossed. You know, they, they, I mean, it should, gladden, it should gladden every Nigerian that, um, I mean, what we want is a united, prosperous Nigeria. All right. And all of, this, all of this speaks mm. to that. It, it sh it, we shouldn't worry about good things happening. We should be happy about it. All right. Okay. We'll see how things <laughs> unveil uh, in the course of time. Thank Aliu. you so much, Ali Oudu, a former member of the APC uh, Presidential Inauguration Committee. Thank you very much. Thank you for and having me. And to see you again. Thank you for having right. me. <laughs>